Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses Live. Today, I am uh, going to be bringing you a how-to demonstration video that was requested by one of my users. Um, this uh, follower has actually gone out and purchased himself one of the Canon uh, Vixia HFS-10 high-definition camcorders, which is actually the same model that I have, and uh, wanted to ask me how it is that I go about importing the video directly into Final Cut Express. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, do a demonstration video just real quick on how that actually happens and in, in the steps to go through. So most importantly, one of the things that I found with the, the Canon model is that you have to have your AC power adapter plugged into the camera before it'll allow you to actually import any video. If you try it just on battery power alone, it's not going to actually mount the drive and you won't be able to um, physically get to the media once you plug the USB cable in. It'll tell you that it's got to be on AC power. So first and foremost, plug it into your power adapter. Secondly, obviously, you plug in your USB to your uh, to your computer and when you flip open your LCD screen, on the far right hand side of that screen you see the playback and record mode options, which is what puts the camera in record or playback mode. Mode, and what you want to do is hit that button so that you're in playback mode. Then you'll get a little warning on your LCD stating that it is connecting to your computer. And as you can see over here on the right, you will get a removable drive that mounts up, um, which is the name of, the, of your camera, which is Canon. So once that is mounted and um, you're all set to go, then what you want to do is go ahead and launch your final cut. And where you're going to hit is um, the file option. You're going to do a login transfer. Some of the older tape um, cameras you used to use your firewire cable and you would do a capture project that would actually allow you to um, directly record to your hard drive with the solid state drives that's not an option using USB so you do a login transfer versus a capture so you'll select login transfer and as you can see um, I took three real quick random clips um, just for demonstration purposes around my office and you'll see the three clips that I took and once you actually have those three clips or however many clips um, visual over here on the left hand side this will be a full list of all your uh, videos that you've taken that are currently on the drive then uh, you just select the clips that you want if you want one or, uh, or more you can select one or more and you just drag them down here to copy them as is if you want to do a little bit of editing what you can do is actually um, you can set um, in points and out points just like you would if you were editing a video and how you can do that is just hit play It'll play back that video and you can, you know, set your endpoints, set your out points. Um, you can do a little bit more editing for your metadata all directly in here and check some of those import um, options as well. If you want to do a second audio, a separate audio track, you can unselect audio if that's what you would like to do. If not, the quickest and easiest way is just to drag the clip, drop it. And as you can see, you get the working over here and it's transferring the file. You can see that right here. And I'm actually using an external Western Digital My Book, um, which I've connected to FireWire 800. So what it's doing is it's copying it off of the camera through USB out the FireWire cable and writing it onto that external hard drive. And once that's all complete, I want to show you real quickly how to get to those raw files um, if you want to just view them um, full screen or whatever the case may be is before editing. So once you have all your videos um, logged into Final Cut, you can go ahead and close the um, login transfer window and right here's that clip so you can click this uh, clip up here put it in your playback hit go and begin your editing so that's that's real simple way this is now saved on your final cut scratch book uh, a scratch um, folder wherever that may be and as well as you've got it right here if I open up my my book and if I go into final cut scratch and I go to capture scratch I go to the name of the project, which I can name when I do that um, capture, and here are the two clips that I've actually captured in. And if you wanted to, you could double click on that and it'll actually bring it back and you can play it full screen um, and have that access. So uh, there you go. That's a quick down and dirty on how to import using Final Cut. If you have um, any questions about possibly iMovie, I use iMovie as well. And so if you want a demonstration on how to import via iMovie, please leave a question or a comment in the section below. And as always, for more technical information and technology news, um, please follow my Twitter account, and that is www.twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. And uh, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hope you're having a great New Year as I am, and we'll see you on our next episode. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.